Hey everybody, welcome back to Brooklyn Bound. Uh, we are So Percussion and my name is Josh Quillen. Welcome. I'm Jason Truding. I'm Eric Chabich. And I'm Adam Slowinski. Thanks so much for joining us again. I believe this is our third Brooklyn Bound of the fall. Uh, the first set that's going to kick us off is um, Elijah Smith's piece, Shifting Ground, uh, which was featured at the So Percussion Summer Institute this summer. So please enjoy.
All right, welcome back. Thank you for that piece, Shifting Ground, uh, written by Elijah uh, and, and played by a bunch of SOCI students who we met this past summer, and they included Max Meyer, Anthony McIntosh, Mariah Toller, and Mackenzie Squires. And if you like that kind of work, we, we had so much fun at SOCI this summer doing it, and uh, we had so much fun, we're starting a new collaborative workshop that's going to um, get up this January uh, online. So check it out. Um, you can apply for that. Uh, and those of you who aren't musicians out there but love this kind of work um, as you see the donate button crop up on chat uh, you can click there too because um, all the money we, we collect tonight for book and bound will go towards these types of new collaborations specifically uh, new commissions we're doing uh, that will get off the ground in the spring so uh, if you dig it click on donate all uh, any help is wonderful help um, and we are going to move on to the next set of the night. Uh, this is a, a new friend, Nina Dante. We got to hang, check out, um, get to talk on our, our Book and Bound podcast. Um, she is wonderful, and she wrote some music to premiere tonight. Wait, Jay, you have a podcast? I have a I know, Josh. <laughs> right, Josh? We I'm filing a podcast. grievance. My podcast just talks with folks on Brooklyn Bound, and it is oh. awesome. What about yours? Mine doesn't talk to people on Brooklyn Bound and probably yeah. isn't awesome. Yeah, no, it is awesome. Everyone should check out Josh's Concert Honesty podcast after they've checked out the Brooklyn Bound podcast. All, all four Very of nice the of folks you, Jay. on tonight, uh, <laughs> you can hear on the podcast. All right, we're going to go to this premiere by Nina Dante. Take it away, Nina. Hello, my name is Nina Dante. Thank you so much for being here this evening. It's such a joy to present music for you alongside such wonderful artists. Thank you to So Percussion. It is such a lovely thing that they invite other artists into their artistic space and lift up the work of other artists alongside of their own. So thank you so much, So Percussion. Since COVID hit, I've been living in the Pacific Northwest in the Mount Hood area. And I've been very closely entwined with this area for a little over a year now. And since that time, my personal musical practice has really become all about um, finding ways to communicate in a deeper way with the natural animate landscape and the creatures who live in this area, finding ways to feel that I'm more in exchange with the area and to fully understand that um, I belong to this area and that the world, the natural world, is home. So my practice is working toward a sort of personal musical ecology. The piece that I'm presenting for you this evening is called Red Moon Low, Bright Stars of Water. And it is born out of my own reactions to these very terrible, destructive wildfire events that are eating up unprecedented amounts of forest here in the Pacific Northwest and on the West Coast in general. Just a few miles south of where I live and my home wilderness um, was very directly and destructively affected by a large fire. Um, that fire started a month ago today and continues to burn now. So this piece is my first steps into synthesizing and processing um, this very existential event that is happening here to all of us and to the wilderness. Um, it will continue to evolve as I continue to process and um, as I continue to synthesize information, but I am very, very happy to share it with you in its current form this evening. So in this piece, you will hear sounds from the natural landscape here. You will hear desiccated sword fern, a beautiful plant that grows everywhere in the forests here. You will hear the sounds of stones and dirt from the Salmon River. You will hear um, a song for the red spotted garter snake, which is a snake that is only found in this area of the world. It's very beautiful. It's water loving and it's paint brushed with flames all up its side and on its head. You will also hear a poem that I wrote during the worst of the fire. And you will hear field recordings of the Salmon River and of the first rain that brought relief to this area during this time of fire. Thank you again so much for being here this evening.
Me siento bueno y me busco.
Thank you so much, Nina. That was fantastic. Um, that was Nina Dante. And uh, so much of Nina's work is inspired by where she lives in the Pacific Northwest. And obviously, um, that area has suffered a lot as a consequence of the, the wildfires this season. So please check out her website, ninadante.com. You can see a bunch about her her other uh, music and, and uh, visual art inspired by that area. And the next piece we're going to have is a piece by Sarah Hennies called Everything Else. Um, we, as a group, got to meet Sarah for the first time over a Zoom rehearsal recently. Um, her work has a lot of really interesting overlap with work that we're interested in and have done in the past. And um, it was really fun for us to, to make this piece together, sort of using um, ordinary sounds, being in our rooms, being in our environment. So thank you so much, Sarah, for spending time with us. Um, and this is everything else.
Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. It's been, uh, as Adam said, it was wonderful to meet you during this, this quarantine. It's kind of weird to think about the folks that we actually meet in this space, but that hopefully form some bonds with to, to keep playing music together. So um, I know we run in some of the same circles, you teaching up at Bard. Um, so I know we're, we're looking forward to, to playing more Sarah Henney's in the future. So tonight, as we did on the last Brooklyn Bound, we're raising money for something we call the New Works Development Program, and specifically for a part of the program called Flexible Commissions, where we are commissioning three composers, Darian Thomas, uh, Bora Yoon, and Kendall Williams, to write new pieces, uh, and we're asking them to consider what flexibility means to them. So these pieces will be for so percussion, but they may also be for other co-commissioning ensembles. They may be for us to play with students someday, to play remotely, to play in person. We're thinking during this time with the limitations that it has of, of flexibility in all of its kind of form. So any money that you donate tonight will go towards New Works Development Program, will go towards commissioning these composers um, and helping us to be able to facilitate a process with the composers. I know I can say for myself, I've already been donating proceeds from my Brooklyn Bound podcast. Um, and I imagine Josh right now is somewhere making a donation from his concert honesty podcast eric i don't know what you're doing Are you Wait, hold, up a second, hold up a second hold up a second podcast make money yeah i'm assuming you make a lot of money i think you're sponsored i believe um if i have this right i i am sponsored by liquid drum but you should so, check liquid drums 990 on online and see what their bottom line so is. you're telling me liquid drum is probably donating right now is that, as long as we that's cool that's cool it's probably liquid drum that i should be talking I'm gonna to go donate can i take a line a loan out from Brooklyn <laughs> podcast okay i'm gonna go donate now bye all right, I'll go donate now too. Adam, you gonna donate? I just want to say I'm a big fan of having cameos in these uh, yeah, in yeah. these little new... announcements. <laughs> we're gonna have to work that in in November and December. Um, but for now, we're gonna turn it over to Stephanie Lamprea to uh, for the last set on the evening. I know she's gonna be doing some aperitifs that we got to talk about in our Brooklyn Bound podcast, um, as well as a, a newer work that's uh, new for her. Um, and I believe she has an intro for us to let us know what's going on. So. Take it away, Stephanie. Hi friends, my name is Stephanie Lamprea and I'm a contemporary vocalist dually based in New York and in Boston. Um, today I'm really excited to show you some works in progress. I'm currently preparing a recital program for Roulette Intermedium, which I will perform and uh, live stream from the venue on Thursday, October 22nd. 
Uh, this program features works with uh, extended vocal techniques, um, alternative uses of linguistics, and interdisciplinary performance, all to show how much the voice can communicate beyond words. Um, so today, I'm sharing with you a sneak preview of two of these works, um, a choreographed movement from George Abergis's 14 recitations for solo voice, and Rebecca Saunders' work for solo soprano, O. Oh. Now, bear in mind, uh, due to the pandemic, it's pretty difficult to get uh, studio level uh, clean recordings. Um, so we recorded the Abergis actually in a studio above an ice rink, and I performed uh, the Saunders here in my apartment. So please forgive the occasional background noise. Recitations, written in 1978, is a 14-movement work for solo female voice, um, which breaks down traditions of music and theater using a tonality, extended techniques, including operatic singing, uh, speaking, sputters, and screams, uh, puzzles, and repetition. Um, I'm currently collaborating with choreographer and dance artist Anne Goldberg Baldwin to add movement uh, to the performance of this work. What I'm showing you today is recitation eight, which is a series of triangle scores, which looks like this. The vocalist has a choice in how to read and interpret the score, able to read the score in whatever directions she chooses. The movement is very playful, but with this choice of direction, one can craft some really interesting drama. Rebecca Saunders's O, oh, written in 2017, is a gorgeous, sensual setting of Molly Bloom's soliloquy from James Joyce's novel Ulysses. In this final chapter, Molly, the wife of the novel's main character, Leopold Bloom, uh, has a long stream of consciousness monologue as she lies in bed next to Bloom. She reminisces about their first meeting and about when she knew when she was in love with him. Uh, the final words of Molly's reverie and the very last words of the book um, are often intelligible, um, unintelligible in Saunders's piece, as the words are often set with isolated syllables or very rapid, breathless speaking. So before you hear the work, I want to read you the final text. I was a flower of the mountain, yes, when I put the rose in my hair, like the Andalusian girls used or shall I wear a red, yes, and how he kissed me under the Moorish wall, and I thought well as well him as another, and then I asked him with my eyes to ask again, yes, and then he asked me would I yes to yes, to say yes, my mountain flower, and first I put my arms around him, yes, and drew drew him down to me so he could feel my breasts all perfume, yes, and his heart was going like mad, and yes, I said yes, I will, yes. So with all of that, I really hope you enjoy this small set of works in progress.
No way, man, weil er... Kannst du dann mit jedem Ohren jessen, der Beute, der Beute, komm mal, der Beute, der Kind, der Alter, 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 Thank you, Stephanie. That was awesome. If you want to hear more of Stephanie's work, you can go to stephanielamprea.com. That's Stephanie with a PH. Uh, she's got lots of great stuff up there. Uh, if you're looking to learn more about Brooklyn Bound or want to see more performances, you can check us out on November 12th where, uh, when we'll be joined uh, by our friend Shodake and uh, a SOCI alum from this past summer, Su Yun Lia, uh, playing the Hagum amongst many other things. So check it out. And uh, you can anytime at our website see, uh, or on our YouTube channel, see the archive of both these performances as they were live streamed and also all of Jason's podcasts with the participants. There's one playlist, it's embedded on our website on the Brooklyn Bound page, and you can also find it on our YouTube channel. Awesome. I hope you guys have a good night. See you in November. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Good night.